Lauren. Hi. Hey y'all. So right now I am about to walk a dog. Not my own dog. Actually, it is one of our client's dogs. Um, Lindsay and I are actually trying to, my hair is all kinds of a mess, start our own business. Um, it's a dog, well actually all pets care a pet care business um call it a paw to hold so a lot of the times part of my day is taking care of other people's dogs mainly as of right now so i'm about to take this dog for a walk this specific client is sort of a friend of mine now that i've known for a while he came to the hospital i worked at when i was a vet tech pre-covid and free baby so he's a friend and I love his dog she is as sweet as could be I'm not going to put her on the blog just because of privacy purposes I'm not until I you know talk to him about it but she's adorable so this is just part of our day um, we are avid animal lovers um, and as difficult it is to have pets when you have a baby, especially very furry ones and very rambunctious ones, we love them to pieces. So just wanted to take you guys on the journey through the day and let you know what we were up to. And Ellie and Lena are at home with Auntie Lindsay, or as we call each other to each other's babies, mommy number two, because we're together so much. <laughs> But we will catch you later. Hello everybody. So I wanted to share something while I'm in this construction in my car. Well, actually, now we're moving. Um, related to mental health. Um, my sister and I have both suffered from OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder since we were pretty much too young to even remember not having it. I'm not sure why. Um, if it's genetic or if it's just something that we saw in our environment when we were really young or if it's just something that is in our brain chemistry that causes us to have this uh, mental disorder. But we both have OCD and I'm not talking about I better wipe that stain up off the floor because it's annoying me. It is um, a ritualistic, um, obsessive, constant thought, uh, thought process in your brain that never goes away. It's a 24 seven disorder. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I want this blog to be like I said earlier, raw and real and we are not going to put uh, a shade to anything about us, really, that we think can possibly help somebody by sharing it. So, uh, long journey, I wanted to share this because I actually... Uh, purchased a book called Stop Obsessing and I've only read the first few pages so far but my sister and I plan to attempt to use self-therapy to I'm sure not heal ourselves completely but to at least start down the road to healing ourselves from OCD. So I just wanted to share that. I am currently on my way home from my dog walk. And apparently my daughter Lana had an extreme blowout. But she had not pooped 
booked yet today and I'm not surprised because she was on a nursing mission last night. Pretty much nursed the whole entire night to the point where my nipple was pretty sore. So it is what it is. I will not let sore nipples stop me on this breastfeeding journey because I absolutely love, like thoroughly love the, um, I don't know what word to use, uh, connection that breastfeeding forms with my daughter. So until there's a reason I need to stop, I don't plan to, or until she wants to. And that's not saying by any means that there's anything wrong with not breastfeeding. I'm doing it for my own personal reasons. I want to do it because uh, scientifically it's proven that it helps prevent certain diseases from happening to her. So that is my reason for wanting to do it. And I want her to have all the immunity that she can get from these diseases such as diabetes and uh, different uh, gastrointestinal diseases that she will have, I believe it's a 50 or 60% chance less of getting. Also, she has less chance of uh, being obese and among other things that I'll, I'm sure that we will share in a, another video that will probably be all about breastfeeding. But I am now back to my sister's house, which is, by the way, where I spend most of my days because our couple of clients that we do have live near her so it is a lot easier to uh, drive from her house to the clients homes so I spend a lot of my time here me and Alana and my one dog Gwen comes with me so I just wanted to share a little bit while I was on my way home and I will catch you guys later So, Lindsay refinanced her house today. Stressful. So that's sort of what she's been working on. Uh, the baby shower. <laughs> yes, I also need a shower. The babies are chilling. They both recently woke up from naps, and if you're wondering where they're nude, just because they felt like being nude. And if you're wondering why they're not in cloth diapers. Well, they're both battling bum rashes, and with the heat and the pee pee wetness, they are currently on cloth diaper breaks, <laughs> trying to get them to heal up. So, hopefully, soon they will not have rashes in their bums anymore. But that is what we're currently up to. See you later. Can I just say how much I hate these speed bumps on my apartment complex? Like, I completely understand that families live here and they need to have speed bumps because people fly on these corners and they're kind of blind, but I mean, really, like, my car, it completely, like, shakes. Like, I feel like it's affecting some aspect of my car badly. Like, I have to go over four of them. Or three. One of them, something like that. <laughs> to get Oh, Like, why? Hey everyone, so we're about to get ready for 
bedtime, not really our bedtime, Atlanta's bedtime. I'm gonna make some tea and probably watch a movie in the room. Sorry, we're washing our sheets. Yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah, we have to wash our sheets because I stayed at my sister's over the weekend and my fiance brings her boxer up in the bed and he slobbers everywhere. So it's fun. So anyways, I'm eating some sweet potatoes that I had in the fridge and Lena's rolling around the floor off the blankies. Hi, bub. <laughs> Watching some cartoons, which doesn't too too often, but like, you know, we keep it real. Sometimes you gotta put some baby sensory videos on if you wanna eat. <laughs> I kinda have a little dragon, babe. Well, that's about all for today. Um, we won't probably won't film every day, but you know, this is about our journey and our life and helping people who can relate. Um, so we'll be doing it a lot, hopefully. Um, that's about it. Peace and love, everyone. Hey, everyone. So we are starting our night routine, or whatever you want to call it. Um, we don't really follow too many routines. Um, there's no problem at all with following routines. It's just... Ellie tends to do her own thing. Um, she, we do get try to get a bath around the same time every day, and we try to start relaxing if we can around the same time every day. But she, as far as routine goes, um, and wake up times and bedtimes, she wakes up anywhere between like five thirty and seven thirty, and she goes to bed any time between. Uh, uh, 7 30 and 9 30 probably and it honestly just depends what time she gets up and what time she gets tired at night and we do about two to three naps a day sometimes four but i just try to follow her sleep cues um and when she seems tired i try to get her done for a nap we are working on trying to um get sleepy and fall asleep without being on the breast, but it's a process because she loves to fall asleep nursing. But right now, we are just drinking a Kratom orange juice and um, gonna probably go mix a little bit more dinner. I have a few pieces of leftover pizza, but I would like to have some sort of healthy dinner slash snack for bed. I'm not a health freak by any means, but we try, me and Lindsay try to eat semi healthy and organic if we can. And it's hard because it's expensive and we are definitely on a budget. Me and Julian, my fiance especially. We are on a budget, so we do shop at Aldi's a lot. By the way, if you were looking for cheap organic, Aldi's is the place to go. Um, but so I'm thinking about making, hi baby, maybe some uh, green beans in the oven that we got from the Polk's Produce Market in the area, or maybe just having some uh, granola with oat milk so we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye for the night because ellie is a baby she is a babe that never stops moving and she is moving a lot right now so we're gonna go also it's her six month birthday so yeah she's acting a little crazy so we're gonna go try to relax and we shall see you at soon. Alrighty, peace.